Hey everybody, it's Brooks here, pastor of First Baptist Church of the Islands. Thank you for joining me for today's Monday Focus. So I want to ask you a question, and then I'm going to share a passage of Scripture. Uh, the question first, if you could summarize all of the Bible in one word, what would that one word summary be? I was asked that question along with our class when I was in seminary, and it's an intriguing question. I don't know if there's really a right or a wrong answer necessarily. Uh, some people would say, well, the one word summary of the Bible is love. Boy, hard to argue with that. Maybe salvation, or mercy, or grace. All of those are great answers. But I remember for me, the answer that I came up with was the word revelation. Not so much a word to describe the Bible in a nutshell, but for me, I guess that word sort of captures the essence of why we have the Bible in the first place. And it's for God to reveal himself. Now, God reveals himself. Scripture tells us, uh, through his creation. We can see his handiwork in his creation, but he has most clearly revealed himself through the person of Jesus. How do we know that? Uh, except what we read of in Scripture, right? Because we don't live when Jesus walked this earth. The only record we have, really, that we can trust in is the pages of God's Word, the Bible that he's given to us. It's given to reveal himself to us. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 says, All Scripture is inspired by God and is profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. Now, the reason for all that and the, the, the usefulness of that is that it equips us, it trains us to, uh, to walk with God and to know Him and to be useful in His hands. And so regardless of what word you may have chosen as to uh, kind of the summary of the Bible, just think about that whole concept of revelation, that God has revealed Himself through the pages of His Word how much more of an encouragement that is, right, for us to then spend time in it so that we can learn more about who he is, so that we can understand his ways, so that we can know him more deeply and walk with him more closely. I don't know how much time you're spending in God's word, but if it's not much, why don't you ramp it up this week? In fact, even today, why don't you take time in God's word and enjoy him for who he is, take time to study a little bit more than you have in this recent past, and then go out and live it and apply it. Because God's going to use His Word to mold and shape you into the image of His Son. That's a good word. That's good news. Let that be your Monday focus. God bless you.